Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of scale and with the new events, new tanks are coming, today the new event is starting or new store is opening in a way in the game, right, which is called Caravan, uh, you can find that in the game, it's going to be live if I'm not mistaken in a couple of hours and in the same time where gaming is adding a new tank, Kirovets uh, 1. Yeah, unexpected, another Russian um, heavy tank, right? Now, the things which we need to highlight for this vehicle. Uh, first of all, what you are seeing here, I am having very experienced at crew and I want to highlight this. I have a standard equipment, right? And I have field modifications fully pumped up. Uh, this is very important thing. Armor of this vehicle is pretty damn decent. Um, it is, in a way, Defender version 2, but the gun handling, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be... Ui. The gun handling is going to be something what you do not want to uh, mess with, in a way. What do I mean by saying that, yeah, sure, the tank is made in Russia, life is beautiful, you know, uh, on the theory you're supposed to, let's say hit some shots but the thing is this gun has the mind of its own right what that basically means that basically means it is up for the rng you are going to hit or not it is typical russian tank for example i would call this vehicle the version uh, um, i would call this vehicle defender version 2 skill uh, why are you saying so because armor of this tank is very very strong frontally uh, obviously your weak spot is on the flat ground lower plate right but this Upper plate, you need like 250 millimeters of penetration to penetrate it. Uh, so this is the thing. This is very, very important uh, thing to uh, highlight. Um, and this is my very first game, right? We are testing the things out and we are checking how this vehicle is looking uh, like um, overall, right? I can see people are very, very interested. What is this tank? Uh, and they're asking, uh, how do we have this tank? But, you know, um, we are okay. So, what we are going to do now, we will try to smack this 1 to 2 TM. Bam, just like this. Alpha damage of this vehicle, by the way, fellas, is 390. 221 millimeters of penetration, 1.4... Kilometer shell velocity and I apologize for my voice fellas. I am a bit uh, sleepy still. I just woke up So please don't mind me if I do meanwhile Another shot just like this. Okay gun is actually not looking that horrible if you are going to play in the close quarters uh, Which this tank is made for uh, you might uh, be completely fine uh, speaking about the gold ammunition, 390 alpha damage, 270 um, millimeters of penetration. This is huge. 270 millimeters of penetration is huge, fellas. This is extremely important thing to highlight. Meanwhile, Vaka is thinking about... Uh, approaching us like so we are smacking him in the face and he's penetrating our lower plate without bigger problems whatsoever yeah the lower plate is going to be relatively weak other than that this tank is very very strong especially whenever you are playing cooldown i'm not entirely sure will we be able to show the strengths of the tank in like first um up the gun handling bloom is um, insane The gun bloom is insane. No for Mother Russia. Mm -hmm. Okay, for real. Uh, for me, it looks like this tank is literally Defender. It looks like this vehicle is literally Defender to me, fellas. Okay, fair enough. Um, this is a very first game for me. A uh, quick... Four minutes battle or five minutes battle, I suppose to say. Russia! Okay, very, very interesting. Fine. 
Uh, what first game is showing for us? Uh, this tank is not going to be the most accurate tank in the in the game, right? Uh, obviously, by any means, it has the uh, mind of the Russian gun. You know this very, very well. I believe quite some of you are having Defender or any other uh, Russian tank, right? If the gun is saying no, that will mean no. But once again, I want to believe the armor of this vehicle can actually work and it can be very, very decent. Um, by by the looking into the first game it is not looking excellent by any means and i am feeling completely fine with this only 1.5 thousand damage dealt but by the looks of it i simply wasn't uh, aggressive enough that's completely fine also fellas if you haven't seen we have a new addition to the index page right uh we have a tech trees you can see ratings easily if you are clicking on whatever tank you can find youtube videos easy equipment setup crew setup um third mark of excellence values or any other mark of excellence values and the field modifications and so on so on feel free to check it out boys and girls ladies and gentlemen if you haven't seen that um uh, Yet, meanwhile, uh, first game, 1.6 thousand damage, uh, third class, uh, we have only... 700 base experience 1.6 thousand damage neither performed good in damage neither performed good in experience and we made pretty much 34 thousand credits if we are not talking about the uh about the mission completion it's not looking that epic right fellas Okay, first pancake was burned. Let's go for a second one. And we are back, fellas, with a second game. In this game, I want to use turbo instead of uh, ventilation just to check out how fast this tank can be. Obviously, it is not bone turbo. It is standard turbo. And we are completely fine with this. Uh, this tank on the paper has like 40-something kilometers per hour with okay-ish uh, horsepower, right? But... I have one concern about this tank, gun handling. I have no doubts armor will work in many, many situations. But I'm truly paranoid about the gun handling. And if gun handling is not going to work, then uh, it is going to be um, another kind of useless tank. And I am a bit afraid of this, fellas. Um, so far, once again, I can't compare this vehicle against Defender. And this is one more thing which I really want to highlight. I believe many of you know the Defender, right? And Defender has one horrible feature. And that horrible feature is the gun handling. The gun handling of Defender is uh, absolutely disgusting. It is worth thing to highlight for obvious reasons, and I think this might be uh, the case with this vehicle as well. Uh, and if it is the case, we have a problem. Um, also, one more thing to say, fellas, this tank has only minus 5 degrees of the gun depression. This is no bueno. So, for example, uh, fighting the ridge line against whatever, uh, T-32 or something else, this is not going to be excellent. Meanwhile, I do not really think enemies are playing in this side and it's pitiful us. Unfortunately, but uh, we have not met any enemies in this side and this is a bit of the problem. That's okay. We will try to make it work, obviously. And what do we have here? We have Scorpion G who is sitting in the back. Whenever you are going to play hold down with this tank... It is not that easy to penetrate that vehicle, okay? This is very worth thing to highlight. And if we are comparing this tank against the IS-3, with I IS-3 you can penetrate in this position here without bigger problems. With this tank you cannot. Uh, since it has 50 millimeters plate, um, penetrating this tank will be big pain in the ass. Okay, that's fair. Making a hardcore pressure for, a, for the enemies is going to be very hard in this kind of situation. It will be very, very hard, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Oi, 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 oi. 
I am afraid to say, fellas, this is uh, this is no bueno speaking about the gun handling. More I play with this tank, more I think gun handling is quite horrible. Okay, let's not judge tank too early. Let's try to make this tank work to the maximum, right? Let's try to work our ass off. Uh, and let's try to be patient in the same time. Uh, one more thing to say, DPM is not absolutely garbage, but DPM is not uh, uh, the best um, either, right? So keep this in mind. Wow, that was a snapshot, fellas. Huh. This time can hit snapshots, huh? Interesting. Uh, I'm a bit afraid of IMBT. Could I get involved here? Probably I could, but I am not going to. Instead of getting involved very, very aggressively against the enemies, what we... Bam. Wow, another pixel shot. Yeah, looks like complaining helps. Another shot. Looks like complaining helps. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, one quick highlight. If you are not hitting with a Russian tank, all you need to do... A bit of crying, a bit of complaining and world of tanks. Oh, we are going to make the things work. Okay, very, very interesting. Obviously, we are not using ventilation, so our gun handling is not that awesome. Um, and I believe this is completely understandable thing to say. Unfortunately, speaking about this game, uh, we do not have the best team ever. We are losing the game. The reason why I did not win here is because I do not have gun depression with this vehicle, which is once again a war thing to highlight. And now the question is, if we are going to hit this one, Russia, whew, not even close, but worth a try. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be victory. What do you think, fellas? Okay. What we are going to do, we are going to sit right here or on the corner and we are waiting until enemies will start making pressure for us. If enemies will start making pressure for us, hopefully we can have a nice last stand and hopefully we can um, bounce some shells and everything. By the way, I will have high explosives loaded because of the ELC even. I have a feeling this guy will go for us and he will go to the garage. Beautiful, 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 very nice. Now the question is, can we find a decent angle for 45 uh, uh, TP? This is the question. Okay, very good. No. No enemies. Don't you want to make a bit of pressure and check out how the new tank is looking like? Come on. I know you are thinking about this, I know you want to go full troll law. you know this, I know this, so let's make it happen. Okay, pretty nice. Once again, this tank is going to be very big pain in the ass to deal with, uh, especially for the lower tiers, that's a fact. Um, like I said, this vehicle can easily be compared to the defender, um, to defender, right? At least this is what, uh, this is how I would describe this vehicle. This tank can do very, very, very bad things for the enemies, for sure. And this tank can do that without big problems whatsoever. Let's try to dodge Arta, beautiful, we are dodging Arta just like so. I am fine, I know soon the Liberty will join, soon E25 will join. I am very, very well aware of that, fellas. It's not my first uh, um, time playing, right? What we want to do, we want to kill this guy. Unfortunately, we are bouncing the Cupola, which sucks, and we are getting penetrated by the Liberty. Looking into the score-wise, uh, it is it is not excellent. Um, 2.5 thousand damage is not very good, but I can I can blame myself for not making this tank work to perfection um, because I literally recently woke up, right? So I need to accept some responsibility. Um, 
what kind of opinion I have after a couple of games playing with this vehicle? Uh, I think gun handling is uh, big fat RNG. Sometimes it will work very very well, sometimes it will show a big fat middle finger and there is nothing what you can do about this. All in all, this is not a bad game. 2.9 thousand damage, no assisting damage whatsoever, we made 25 thousand uh, profits. Uh, speaking about profits, this tank is not making a lot. <coughs> This tank is not making a lot, fellas. Interesting. Okay, let's go for round number three. And we are back with round number three. Okay, let's see. Um, what we can do? I believe we are going into the heavy line. And do I see a humongous difference whenever you are using turbo or not using turbo? To be fair with you, difference is quite uh, um, a big one, honestly. You can truly feel this tank has quite a bit of the horsepower and you can feel this tank uh, uh, can go even faster. Right? Speaking about mobility, in the previous game you saw how fast this tank was uh, behaving. Meanwhile... Don't mind me if I do, uh, maybe we are going to use this for a thumbnail, maybe not, we'll see, time will show everything. And we are, we are going to play in, the, in this game. Um, I believe it's fair to say I am thinking about playing in the heavy flank, right? What is my goal? My goal is to punish every single gentleman who will try to play here, if we are going to have enemies who will play here. This is the thing. Now we are sitting very very nice hold down here and we are waiting until slower tanks will arrive if slower tanks will arrive. It is not that easy to penetrate us in this angle. I am feeling pretty confident and as you can see none of the enemy heavy tanks went this way. This is quite sad story but once again unfortunately we cannot do absolutely anything about this. Instead of playing in the heavy line pushing like this or pushing like this we are going to get involved against the Mr. Borat. We are going to um, smack him a couple of times and hopefully we will make um, this tank work. Meanwhile, light tank is sitting here, Russia, trying to hit him with a blind shot. Uh, I'm not entirely sure will we hit him, but we'll see. Time will show everything, unfortunately. Not a hit. 3, 2, 1. How about... Uh, now? Oi, oi. Oi, oi. I like mobility. I like armor. I don't like gun handling. Oh. I don't really think we killed our friends, so it's okay. I hate this gun handling. This gun is horrible, fellas. This gun is horrible. It instantly gives me defender vibes, fellas. It instantly gives me defender vibes. Let's load some gold and let's hit his ass. This is what we can do. Okay, once again, um, if everything would go that well as I would love to, everything would be relatively fine. But this time gun is just horrible. Fellas, uh, this is the biggest problem for me with this tank. I truly dislike this vehicle gun handling. The DPM, if you are getting PSD from the IS-6, and IS-6 looks like the biggest armored tank out there, um, we have a problem. We have a humongous problem, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can kind of... Once again, this is Russian tank. You cannot completely forget the snapshots. You just cannot do that. But for some weird reason, it just simply doesn't work that great as it should or uh, as it could. Um, and as you can see, enemies can penetrate this vehicle. It's not like you are the best uh, well-armored tank in the world of tanks, right? It's not like you have the best armor and no one can do absolutely anything for you. It is not the case, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. You can be penetrated. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, how about this IS-6? 
I don't really care about ISX. What I care about, I care about the people who are playing in the middle at this point. Maybe we can farm those light tanks. Um, okay. For now, I believe many of you might wonder still how you would rate this vehicle. And honestly, it sits between playable and between good, but I would uh, put this into the playable category. Just how the gun is looking like for now. No, but skill, it you do not have uh, all um, uh, improved equipment. You are correct, we do not have improved equipment on this tank. That's very important thing to highlight. Will, would tank behave a bit better if you would have improved equipment? I have no doubts whatsoever tank would behave a bit better, right? But in the same time, um, it looks like kind of a big pain in the ass if you cannot trust the gun handling, right? It is very important thing to say, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and if you cannot trust the gun handling of the tank, at, oh my bananas, this gun. Um, it can be a problem, okay? It can definitely be a problem. I need to get involved somehow for obvious reasons. Light tank is sitting here, let it be. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 my friends, oi, oi, oi. Well, let's put that in this way, I'm not impressed. I am not impressed with this tank yet. Um, I truly do not like the gun handling, fellas. Let's go for a fourth game. So far, I, I do not appreciate this tank. I just do not. I'm sorry to say that. Okay, let's uh, see what is the score after this game. And we are back, fellas. Um, unfortunately, defeat, 1.3,000 damage, 600 assisting damage, shots fired at 12, hit, direct hit 7, penetrations 4. Uh, we lost 22,000 credits with a premium tank. Um, and you know what? I want to go for one more. So far, I hate this tank. Uh, we are barely scratching 2,000 damage overall. Maybe I am unlucky. Uh, maybe I can. Okay, I have an idea. For a last game with this vehicle, I know how we can do the things. I know how we can check the things, fellas. So, improved ventilation. Like, uh, let's maximize this vehicle to the maximum. Maybe I will like and maybe I will appreciate uh, um, this vehicle so much more if we are going to go full... Uh, bond mode right and if we are going to uh, have everything to the maximum and everything to the uh, to the top maybe then i will say the tank is a bit a bit a bit better obviously this is not really realistic not many people will would go this uh, uh, kind of mode but uh, let's give it a go let's teleport into the first uh, well into the fourth game i suppose to say let go and we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have a tier 9 game. Ghost Town. That's okay. Let's try to make this tank work. Now, once again, uh, we maximized everything on this vehicle. Right? We made... Uh, um... We have bond equipment, we have very good crew, if this tank won't be able to hit shit now, then we have a humongous uh, problem. Uh, what this tank is going to be good at, once again, I am thinking if you are getting tier 6 matchmaking, most of the tanks won't be able to penetrate you that easily. This is what this tank is going to be good at. Uh, what this tank is going to be bad at, and I hope I am incorrect, the gun handling of this vehicle is just simply horrible. And what that means, what horrible gun handling means for you fellas? Uh, that means you will not be able to trust the gun to the maximum for obvious reasons right and if you won't be able to trust the gun handling um that much this is going to be a very bad problem overall right at least I can tell you one thing, Defender is far away from being my favorite tank for that particular reason uh, and that particular reason is the gun handling. If this tank has the same situation, although nice speed of this vehicle. Um, if this tank has the same situation, right, uh, same gun handling like Defender does, we are, we are for a treat. Side bounce of the IS-5. Oi, 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 fellas. 
Okay, if you are not a lover of uh, of defender gun, you will hate this vehicle, at least by the looks of it. Yeah, it is a bit faster than defender is. That's uh, very, very good and that's nice. Um, but, once again, if gun handling is derpy, if gun handling is trollish, if you cannot trust it, uh, this is a problem. This is a big fat problem, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Can we smack him in the side quickly? And now we snapshot at his cupola. Ha! <laughs> ay ay ay! Interesting. Very, very interesting. This IS-5 hates us quite a bit and this is our mission, you know, our mission is try to annoy this guy uh, to the maximum and this is what we are working for, this is what we want to do, this is what we want to see. Meanwhile, IS-5, are you planning to pick like this? This is the question, because if he will, we will be able to punish him once again. Um... Is it looking better with a bond setup? Honestly, hard to say. It is still way too early to talk about this. But all and all, we managed to get one snapshot. So that's something. Meanwhile, aim, 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 aim now. <sighs> Fellas, whoever is going to play this vehicle, you will get some gray hair on your head. And this is a fact. Gray here guaranteed. Okay, good. I am trying to um, imitate like I'm going like this. But reality is very simple. I am going to return to the same position. And hopefully we can smack him once again. He's not that aggressive as I would love him to be. If maybe the Skoda will try to peek again like this, maybe we could smack him in the face once or twice. We'll see, time will show everything. I know our Lova is not feeling that great in this position and I should help our Lova. I will load the gold uh, for, uh, for 53 TP. We are going to take our time to aim and we are going to hit him. Hmm... Very interesting. Now he is definitely upset with this. And if he is going to peek once again, we should be able to smack him in the face. Meanwhile, light tank, aim, 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 bam. Okay, we can hit, fellas. We can hit with a full bone setup. We can actually hit. Bad shot by me. Can't blame the tank. Can't blame the tank, fellas. Not ideal. Not ideal and nothing to do, nothing to say. Not ideal. Skoda should be dead. 3, 2, 1. Kaboom. Hmm. It is definitely so much better with a full bond setup. Skill no shit Sherlock? Is it better with a full bond setup? Yeah, obviously it is. I know every single vehicle would be better with a bond setup. And armor, like I said before, is not looking uh, that bad. Bam. But once again, um, is it worth your nerves? To deal with this vehicle in this way and to uh, cry and complain whenever gun is not working that well, um, debatable. Um, also on top of that, once again, I truly can't stress this enough, um, I do not really trust this gun. Plus, you do not really have that much uh, ammunition if we are talking about this, right? The amount of the ammunition of this vehicle is not ideal. Um, one more thing needs to be said, um, I am shooting quite some gold ammunition as well, right? So, I believe if you would go with a budget mode, which majority of you probably wants to uh, play, uh, especially with the premium tanks, um, this can be a big fat trouble. 
You know, because why you are playing with a premium tanks? Either premium tank is completely broken and overpowered, right? Um, so you are having fun in the game, or either you are making credits. Uh, with this vehicle, so far, I can't say it is extremely good vehicle. And in the same time, I cannot say uh, the tank is worth that much attention. So yeah, um, quite sadness. Scale how you would play this, uh, how you would rate this vehicle. Uh, honestly, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, looking into this, if I would rate it in the stars, let's say from, um, from um, 1 to 5, I would give it 3. Uh, I do not trust the gun handling, especially with the standard equipment. Uh, I do not like it. Armor should be very good, but in the open uh, ground you will get penetrated by the higher tiers uh, without any problems whatsoever. What I need to give for this tank is speed. Speed is very nice. Armor is uh, also nice if you are doing things properly. Gun depression is bad. Minus 5 degrees of the gun depression is not bad. Uh, is not good whatsoever. So... Um, Considering those things, it is it is not that great. I mean, I know more likely I'm going to uh, put the bounty equipment and I am going to market on the, my main account and everything. But anyways, I'm not too impressed with this vehicle. Meanwhile, 118,000 uh, um, income and we made 22,000 credits. That's low. That's very, very low. Obviously, we are using the extra rations. Obviously, we are using directive and everything because I was trying to uh, maximize this tank right, as much as I physically and possibly can. And the gold ammunition price is 5.2,000 for 390 alpha damage. Uh I don't know, fellas. You tell me, you witnessed everything yourself, please let me know your your opinion down below. Meanwhile, what do we have? Four games, 2.5 thousand damage and uh, 200 assisting damage. Uh, not ideal by any means, fellas, not ideal and uh, I am sharing uh, my opinion with you. I do not like this uh, vehicle that much just because of the gun handling i feel like i feel like it is defender version 2 just a bit faster uh and maybe uh, to be fair with you maybe a bit uh, less armored as strong as it sounds that's it uh but i said everything what i i wanted to say so thank you very much for watching see you very very soon skill is out for today peace and obviously thank you very much for watching Mwah!